Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylina and I am the Hex Witch and today I've got a vlog for you. So I am celebrating an early Christmas present with my sister. I got her tickets to Jurassic World live tour tonight. So we are going to go see some ginormous animatronic dinosaurs including Blue herself. So I am really looking forward to that. But first we are going to go and do some ice skating at Crown Center. So sit back and enjoy a vlog. like it's going to be another cloudy day. Yesterday I took a nice misty foggy morning walk through the forest in my backyard. It's not a huge forest but it is enough to just get out there and feel the nature so that was nice. Um, more updates. Jurassic World Live was really really cool. Um, their dinosaurs were neat. However the T-Rex at the end did have a bit of a breakdown and so I don't think we got quite the epic ending that was intended for the show. Um, but it was still fun to hang out with my sister. It was still fun to spend time together and celebrate an early Christmas present. So we enjoyed that. Today, after work, my grandparents are coming over for some dinner. And they're also helping me fix my antique pie cabinet that decided that the whole back was going to apart so we're gonna do that and then a little bit of a reading update for you
update for you. I'm going to do it like this because these are the three books I have been focusing on. Um, I just finished with Anatomy by Dana Schwartz. I really enjoyed this book. This was, if you like Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, you are definitely going to enjoy this one. This one very much follows a very similar storyline following a girl who wants to be a surgeon, but um, since she is a woman in the time period she lives in, that is not acceptable, and the men in society do not think she can handle it, nor will they teach her how to be a surgeon. So she partners up with a guy named Jack, who is pretty much a body snatcher. He digs up graves and steals bodies, not things, <laughs> um, and so they kind of partner together so that she can study the anatomy of the human body and learn everything she can so that she can then take a physician's examination um, and if she passes then she will be accepted into 
uh, classes and be able to get her physician's um, certificate. However, there's also some mystery going on as someone is taking people that are poor from the town over and are pretty much mutilating them and taking their body parts and giving them to other people. So you also get this very dark undertone as well as um, she tries to figure out who is doing this and why. Um, it's really good. It is It is a little bit gruesome, though. Like, she does kind of describe the sur surgeries and the different things that she's studying in a, a bit of detail. So if you don't like kind of gory or if you're real squeamish with blood, guts, and organs and things, you may not like this book. But I definitely, I definitely did because I have a science heart. So... I enjoyed this book a lot. Definitely give it a five star read. If you like, I said, if you like Stalking Jack the Ripper, which is one of my absolute favorite series uh, that follows science as well, as well as set in a you know Victorian time period, then you are definitely going to like this. This is also set in Edinburgh, and so you get to learn more about that quaint, beautiful town that I really hope that I get to go visit one day soon. Next, I have Crave here. I ordered this off of Amazon because I went and had a Barnes & Noble um, shopping spree the other day and I read the back of the newest one, which I don't remember the name of, and then I instantly bought this one off of Amazon and it got delivered the other day. I'm about 133 pages in, and I'm returning it. I am really, really disappointed that I didn't. I don't like this book, um, and I'll tell you why. So this follows a girl. She's lost her parents, and so she goes to this academy. And little does she know, but it's filled with people who are vampires. I'm guessing werewolves and possibly fairies and other mystical, magical beings. However, it's, and obviously it's supposed to be a love story, which is fine, but every single time our main handsome, roguish, vampire, sexy man comes into the picture, between him and our main character, Grace, every scene that they're in together is just, in my opinion, cringeworthy. Um, they've literally... I mean, I'm only 133 pages in, and they've literally just met, and they're already, like, touching each other. Like, she's stroking his face, and it's just, it's uncomfortable because the relationship between them is so unrealistic that it's just, it's only going to get worse from here, and I'm at the very beginning of the book. So, I just, I don't like the relationships in this book. I don't like how it's written, you know, I'm supposed to be wanting as many scenes as possible with this man and in the picture because he does have that naughty boy roguish personality that, you know, I don't mind reading about because I love a good kind of bad boy guy, but it's just, it's also kind of petty because, like, she just meets him and, like, just because he won't come over and talk to her at a party and kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's it's weird. He ignores her part of the time, but then he's all protective of her in the next moment, and it's like, you literally just met this girl, like, and maybe it makes sense later in the story, but I just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's, to me, just very cringeworthy, so, and they're, which I was disappointed about because I was, the back of the one book I read, it's got that sarcastic kind of funny vibe to it, which I really thought I would enjoy. But then the only thing that's really been kind of that sarcasm so far has been the the um, chapter titles. That's like the only thing that's been kind of funny. Like I kind of compare them to the Percy Jackson series where each chapter is kind of funny. Like... But that's about it. That's, like, all there is. And so I was expecting a lot more out of this. There's, like, I don't know, 
lots of books in this series, but I will not be reading them. So that's my personal opinion on it. I'm sure if you like Twilight, if you like those super lovey-dovey, I don't know, weird relationships between men and women, this might be a book you might enjoy. But otherwise, I just feel like it gives a very unrealistic expectation of what relationships are like. Um, it also just has a bunch of guys like kind of totally into this girl that just got there. And I don't know if you've been to school, but that's just, even if you're the new kid, that's not how they treat you. So <laughs> I don't know. It's just I didn't enjoy it. I don't like it. I'm sending it back, which I'm disappointed for, but it is what it is. Lastly, instead of reading Crave, I am starting The Luminaries. This follows our main character, Winnie, and her family has been kind of exiled from their society because her dad is a bad guy. Um, and this kind of follows The Luminary Society. Um, they This book is interesting because it, it has that fantasy flair, but it... I, I also feel like it's definitely got a dystopian kind of flair as well because they live in factions based on like the days of the week and then they are like monster hunters so you also I'm only like a couple chapters in but you're they pretty much hunt monsters and so Winnie wants to become a luminary part of that society where they're like expert hunters of the monsters um, but right now she's she just collects dead corpse at the end of each hunt that happens on a nightly basis um, as well as she's a normal kid that goes to school too so it's got this very dystopian feel yet fantasy feel and it's it feels like it would be an odd combination but so far I'm enjoying it and I think it's gonna be a really interesting read so I am looking forward to finishing that but other than that, that is my reading update, and I will check back with you later. What's going on, everyone? Here is an update of what's been going on. So it is Sunday afternoon. Yesterday, I got to spend an early Christmas with my grandparents, and it was lovely. Um, it was so fun just to hang out with them and my parents and my two sisters. Um, they got me some really sweet, very cool things. I'm very into antiques, and so they got me these very old opera glasses that are very cool. Um, they're like gold and scrolled, and they're lovely. And I saw them at their house a while ago and wanted them very desperately, and so I was very surprised and happy to receive them yesterday. Um, as well as some other cool antique stuff as well. And today, pardon my face right now, uh, it's just been kind of a self-care day. Did some facial stuff, did some hair masks, um, just kind of have been taking it easy today, getting ready for this upcoming week. I can hardly believe that Christmas is a week away, but I think I'm pretty much ready to go with gifts and everything so we should be good there. Um, reading update, I've almost finished the luminaries. I have just a couple chapters left of that and I would rate it probably about a 3.5 stars. It's not that I'm not enjoying it, it's just for the theming of it. I was just kind of expecting a little bit more out of it as far as um, like the action in it and it just seems like this girl has the dumbest of luck like she's not very well trained but yet she just happens to have really good luck in a forest full of monsters and so I just I don't know for someone so unexperienced I would expect a lot more bad things to be happening to her and much more other things that she would have to face but she just hasn't and so it's a good book but it's also taking me a lot longer than it should because it's actually shorter than the other books I've been reading lately but I'm just I, I like it but I'm not like super into it and it's not one of those books that I'm just like 
desperate to get back to reading. So, I don't know. It's, it's just average for me as of right now. Um, we'll see if something kind of more exciting happens for the last few chapters here. We'll see. If there's a sequel, I, I may be intrigued to read it. I don't know yet. Um, so, that's kind of my update. I think that's all I've got. I've eaten more chocolate in the last like week than I have this entire year. Um, it's delicious, but uh, my body is definitely feeling it. So, just maybe taking a break on just eating all the goodies and the first of the year that is definitely a goal that I'm setting for myself to try to eat a little bit better and to try and get into a little bit more of an exercise program even though it is a little bit difficult with the fibromyalgia at times but we are figuring it out so I think that is all I have for you for this vlog I hope you like it if you did please leave a like or think about subscribing Leave a comment below if you have any other fun Christmas traditions that you guys all do. And stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you next time for the next video. Bye!